We know PETA is known for their attention-grabbing campaigns, but some feel their latest publicity stunt has gone too far. The animal rights group posted pictures on their website of clothing that depicts images of human remains. <clears throat> PETA.org calls it a killer collection in an attempt to draw attention to the animal skin used to make clothing and goods. So, ladies, what's your take on this? Is this campaign going too far, or is it giving a message? It's clearly giving a message because we're talking about it. Yeah. So I'm like, I never, I've got to be honest, even though I have followed a plant-based diet and these kinds of things, and I've tried to limit, like, obviously, using leather and those kinds of things, I never thought about it this way. Have you guys ever heard of speciesism? Um, it's actually something that says, uh, it's the assumption of human superiority leading to the exploitation of animals. Wow. So no. when you view it this way, you think how horrific. Like, who would wear someone's skin on them? And yet, we do it all the time. So while it's something I'm still working on, I have to say this did kind of open my eyes to it, and it, it is a harsh reality, but it's true. I think what they're doing is true. It, it helps well, us understand it. But you know, you have to remember back in the day, especially the biblical times. It's for survival. They had to do yes. what they had to do. Yes. And because now we have technology where you can have, you know, vegan leather, yeah. and we have technology to yes. make things that look, yeah. It does, you know, lean to the fact that we no longer have to do what we do to yeah. uh, other beings. Absolutely. So I, my right. jacket, people, I, is vegan leather. My shoes are vegan leather. I sell vegan leather handbags. I love, <laughs> I love vegan leather. I do. Not only are we, you know, saving the animals, we are also, they're much cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. This is true. But it's a different I price do point. think that Peter's gone too far. I really do. I mean, I get it. I get it. But this is also how a lot of people live. Not everybody can be a vegan. It's expensive. Not everybody can be green. I think, you know, you can make a point, but I think this is too much. I once took my boys to the circus, and uh, Kyle Richards was sitting in front of me. I didn't know her at the time. Uh -huh. And she turned around halfway through the show, and she said, don't tweet that you're at the circus because Peter's coming after me. Sure enough, three days later, I get a letter sent to my PR saying that I shouldn't take my kids to the circus because the animals are mistreated. I'm like, Peter, I wish you would care. I understand the animals are important, but I right. wish you would care about homeless people on the street. Ooh. You know what I mean? I feel sometimes people will step over another human person to help an animal. And so let's balance it a little bit. Yeah. That, that's my take on it. Let's balance it. Yeah. I think, you know, it, it all goes, it's, it's a balancing act. And I think that's what you're saying, that we have to balance and we have to be thoughtful of and every mindful. being. And, and not mindful. everybody yeah. can be vegan. Not everybody, well, do you know what I mean? It's expensive to be vegan. It is very expensive. You know? Yeah, especially so, when it comes to that, so. Yeah, so everybody's doing the best they All can. All these first world problems. Okay. <laughs>